Welcome to the UiPath automation demo for BMW. In this video, we will show you how RPA can transform manual, repetitive, non-value-added work into a smooth, automated process. But what is RPA? RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation, an innovative technology that aims to automate manual, time-consuming, rule-based business processes. UiPath accomplishes that by emulating the interaction between humans and business applications. This means that the robots can open and close applications, navigate through a menu, perform clicks and selections, switch between several systems and take many more actions in a similar way that a human user would. To give you a better understanding of what RPA is and what it does, we have automated an internal BMW process, the HR employee ID creation as part of the contract management for interns. Currently, the process uses three systems, IBS, the recruiting platform where the students can put their personal data and where the department that is looking for an intern can add the requirements. The second system is called AMS. This is the ticketing tool used at BMW. The last system is SAP, the HR application for payroll. Before the hiring process can take place, the HR representative handling the request must perform three steps. First, collect the required information about the applicant and the position that they are applying for. Then, verify whether the student has the right to work in Germany and, if the second step is confirmed, create the employee's personal number in SAP, which concludes the process. Now, let's take a look at how UiPath can optimize it through automation. Let us start by introducing UiPath Studio, the designer tool where the automation workflows are created. The main components are the Activities pane on the left-hand side, the Designer surface in the center, the Properties pane on the right, and the Tools menu on the top of the page. What you're seeing on the screen is a sequence of activities and decision points representing the HR process proposed for automation. The robot follows the arrows and executes each step from the workflow in a predefined order according to the business rules for this process. Let's run this in slow motion. On the right hand side, you'll see the robot going through each activity in the workflow, while the actual applications will be displayed on the left hand side. As you can see, the robot starts by opening the browser. It retrieves the credentials and logs into AMS. After checking the pending requests, it logs into IBS, the recruiting system, in order to collect the necessary information. This first task is a typical swivel chair activity, as it requires the user to log into AMS and IBS, then switch between the two systems repeatedly while copy-pasting the information from one to the other. RPA excels at this type of task, so we've successfully automated it. The second part of the process, checking whether the applicant has the right to work in Germany, does not meet the automation criteria, as there are several verification steps involving human decisions. For example, checking if the student has a green card or other types of permissions. This will remain a manual step. Finally, let's take a look at the third step, creating the personal number in SAP. We'll run this step at full speed. The main activities for this part of the process require copying information from AMS and pasting it to SAP, while also populating some of the fields with known standard values. We have decreased the handling time for the two automated steps from 20 minutes down to 2 minutes and 30 seconds. For a monthly volume of 600 requests, that is a total reduction of 175 working hours from the processing time. Using RPA has proven benefits within months on deployment. Error and cycle time reduction are just the beginning. Higher scalability to cover peak times is an important advantage. And on top of it all, the cost reduction that RPA brings can be seen within months, giving RPA a very good and fast return on investment.